leading D's. Now, I got a little bit more specific here. Remember, I said I'm going to start uh, very broad, where we said uh, focus on relationship or task, speed up or slow down. Then we got into how you should behave if you are a DIS or C, and how to help others be more effective if they are a DIS or C. Now, this is specifically for you as a leader of other people, whether it's a leader of your direct reports, whether it's a leader uh, if you are in charge of a, a committee or a team. Uh, but specifically, I like to focus on if you're managing people, leading people one-on-one. -on -one. And we're going to look at three different things. Number one is to get them to set meaningful, measurable goals. And you'll see the three categories that I focus on are absolutely crucial in any type of leadership uh, function. So with Ds, you want them to set goals, all right? Because they will set their own goals, and typically they will set goals that may be as, if not more challenging, than you would set for them. Make sure that uh, they create concrete action plans, concrete action plans. And in this particular situation, once the goal is set, ask them what steps they're going to take to achieve that goal. Uh, and if you're going to recommend anything to the Ds as you're leading them, give them options. Don't tell them what to do. Give them options. Let them choose. And then in terms of follow-up and accountability, which is always important. So we have goals. We have the plan for those goals. And then we have how do I monitor and measure. Uh, they need less contact, less frequent contact than any other style. And if you're going to praise them, don't praise them. Praise their accomplishments and their achievements, not necessarily them personally. Now, when you're leading the eyes through the same three steps of leadership, uh, set goals that be, can be achieved quickly, all right, and then set another one right away. If you set a goal that's that takes too long, they lose interest. I was speaking to a group last week, and I jokingly said, uh, it was a sales group, and I said, you know, one of the worst things you can do is have a sales contest that lasts a quarter or a year, because the eyes will get bored with it. I said, jokingly, why not have the salesperson of the day? Uh, you know, that's quick, accomplished uh, goals. Uh, create concrete action plans. Now, when you ask the eyes how they, uh, they're going to achieve their goals, sometimes they come up with uh, rather creative things, very imaginative, sometimes uh, uh, bleeding edge ideas. But don't criticize them. Compliment them for their imaginative ideas. Sometimes provide a, a perspective on whether it's realistic or unrealistic, but do it in a way that doesn't uh, belittle the ideas that they come up with. They don't like details, so make sure they write things down. And frequent, consistent follow-up with a lot of personal praise. Here's an interesting thing. I said I have four children, D-I-S-C. My, uh, my I child. Whenever she brought home a report card, we had to put it on the refrigerator, you know, with a magnet so everybody could see it. We had to call up grandma on the speakerphone and make a big deal out of it. Big deal. My son, who is a, a D, he never wanted anybody to see his report card other than his mother and father. He didn't want the other kids to know how much he was getting for his grades. So he was very private about it. We had to handle it a very different way. So, uh, but with eyes, we always give a lot of pats on the back uh, and specifics, specifics, uh, specifics on what they have accomplished, where they are in terms of achieving their goals or completing their action plans. But sometimes they exaggerate, maybe a little bit, they, they think that they've accomplished a little bit more than they actually have. With S's, uh, always try when you're focusing on goals to try to connect the business goal with any personal goals they may have. Remember, they're very people-oriented. And, and when it comes to action plans, we want to break it down into bite-sized pieces. Here's an interesting thing about training each style. With the Ds, if you're teaching the D something new, let's say a new computer program, or even if you're switching from a PC to a Mac or a Mac to a PC, you know, some 
new kind of thing that they have to learn. The D's just want to know, tell me how to turn it on, tell me the first thing to do, get out of the way, when I want to know something else, I'll call you back. You just want to know one thing at a time, to get done what you need done. All right, the C's, you give them the manual. And if they have any questions, they'll ask. In fact, I really believe that most manuals for, uh, let's say, technology or mechanical things are written by the C's for the C's. Nobody else cares. Uh, uh, the, the I's, when you're teaching them something, they like to jump right in. Hey, what's this button? No, don't touch that! You just like to experience things. Let, let me try things and tell me what I did wrong. The S's, if you're going to teach the S something new, I want to verbally explain it. Then I want to personally model it, show them how it's done so they can see it. Then I want them to do it, give them feedback, hopefully pats on the back. If they didn't do it right, I want to handle that in, a, in the right way. I don't want to be critical about it. And if they didn't do it right, we'll correct it in a nice way and then show them how to do it the right way. Again, going through that whole process again. Uh, detailed plans. Detailed plans for them. Uh, because you can procrastinate getting what? Started. Uh, we want to set a short-term deadline for the first action steps and follow up frequently. Personal follow-up. Personal contact. And uh, lastly, the C's, right? And goals clarify their wants and quantify their goals by asking a lot of questions. Believe me, they'll come up with their own, their own goals with you. Uh, prepare some suggestions thoroughly about how they can actually achieve their goals, right? Help them, encourage them to come up with a proactive action plan and be consistent with your follow-up with them. They like to know where am I at, how am I doing, they like feedback.